In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have called us to follow you. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are our teacher. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Lord and Savior. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. Instead, someone has testified somewhere. What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, subjecting all things under his feet. In subjecting all things to him, he left nothing not subject to him. Yet at present, we do not see all things subject to him. But we do see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death. He who, for a little while, was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. For it is fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should made the leader of, to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated are all of one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brethren in the midst of the assembly I will praise you. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Our response, you have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. O Lord, O Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have made him a little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. 
All were amazed and asked one another, what is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. In some ways, you could say that the church's year of grace is seamless. If we just took the Christmas season to celebrate the mystery of God with us and invited to not only contemplate, but really to experience the truth of that, the truth that Jesus Christ is always with us, that in Christ God is with us and in our midst. Yesterday, the church invited us seamlessly to contemplate that in the idea of call, God calling us, Jesus inviting us to be disciples. And today, we hear in the beginning of Mark's gospel about Jesus at Capernaum, where he stays, he makes his home and his ministry as nowhere else, and he enters the synagogue there and taught. The wonderful mystery of the concreteness of this. One of the beautiful things is that that synagogue there, the ruins of that, we know the exact place of that synagogue. It's thought that the remains that are there are a little more recent than Jesus probably built in the next generation. But the foundation stones, these dark local stones, they seem to be the foundation of the synagogue that Jesus stood in on that very day. God with us in Jesus Christ. Speaking, teaching with this authority that was unlike any other because he stands there, God with us. And then not only that, but we hear in this first chapter of Mark's gospel about him driving out an unclean spirit from a man in that place. Not only words of authority, but backed up by deeds, the mighty deeds of God manifested and shown. May we know that great mystery of God with us. May it be seamless for us as it is for the church in the year of grace. May we recognize in every circumstance that God is with us. Let us stand and bring our prayers to the Lord. That we might receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God, we pray to the Lord that the church might manifest, and that we as believers to all that God is with us, we pray to the Lord. That we might delight in the teaching of Jesus and his authority and welcome his way into every aspect of our lives, we pray to the Lord. For our nation, we pray to the Lord. For an end to the pandemic and for a quick distribution of vaccines. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those who are sick and for their healing. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all those caring for the sick and for the dying. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all of those who are grieving and mourning, for all whose hearts are heavy. We pray for the poor and those in need for students and children and families. We pray for all who ask our prayers and all who need our prayers, for law enforcement, for business owners, for those in the service of our nation. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for Debbie Meyer, for whom we offer this Mass, and for all those who have died. We pray to the Lord. Pausing. Let us call to mind the prayers we hold within our hearts.
we pray to the Lord. Father, hear the prayers we make, for we make them through Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful, celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Debbie Meyer, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who is united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Humbly, we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.